jungle. Good day, my wonderful people. How are you guys doing this morning? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the time you're listening to this news from. Breaking news. 2.17 trillion naira budget. Peter Obi, Tinubu fight deep dirty over clarification. See details below. The Minister of Information and National Orientation, Muhammad Idris, defends 2023 supplementary budget amidst dispute with Peter Obi. The Minister of Information and National Orientation, Muhammad Idris, has offered a defense for the 2023 supplementary budget recently signed into law by President Bola Metinumbu. Idris asserted that the budget is a necessary response to the current economic challenges facing the country. This response from Idris follows criticism from Peter Obi, the Liberal Party's presidential candidate who opposed the approval of the 2.17 trillion naira supplement budget. Peter Obi claimed that certain emergencies and critical national needs were overlooked by President Bola Metinumbu. Observation of the supplement budget. A supplement budget is designed for crucial national welfare needs, not origin originally covered in the main budget or lacking sufficient funding. While some items in the current, bu current budget may not even have considered the need of a new administration, a supplement budget this late in the, of, in the financial year is expected to express and address urgent items of national welfare. Unfortunately, the most pressing national needs and emergencies are absent from the supplementary budget. For instance, warnings from the United Nations and World Food Program about potential hunger affecting up to 6.5 million, million naira Nigeria next year, particularly in recent states, have not been addressed. Peter Obi criticizes the lack of urgency for the social welfare in the supplementary budget instead the focus is on times items like a presidential jet presidential jets and also the punish the punishing of already lavishly furnished presidential quarters and offices the minister of information responds mohammed idris disputes buhari's claim and dispute obese claim, sorry, of insensitivity in the supplement budget, stating that it is a bold and pragmatic response to the press economic challenges in Nigeria. He also urges Peter Obi to familiarize himself with the details of the 2.17 trillion Naira 2023 supplementary budget, emphasizing allocations for essential sectors such as security, agriculture, food security, works and housing, work wage increases, student loan schedules, and also social safety nets. The minister highlights that the broad, the broad provisions in the supplementary budget reflect President Tinumbu's commitment to supporting government functions. Addressing urgent security needs and also fast-tracking the country's economic recovery post for sub for subsidy removal. Idris encourages political opposition to exercise informed and balanced opinions, avoiding misrepresentation of facts for political gain. He also assures that the supplementary budget has undergone thorough scrutiny 
to effect efficient use of these public funds. Rabiu Ibrahim, special assistant to the Honorable Minister of Information and the National Electrician, November 9, 2023. Thank you, viewers, for listening to this news. Can you imagine? The last time I saw the effect of budget in Nigeria was during good luck, Jonathan's regime. That was the last time I saw it. So if Tinumbu or whoever they are, if they like, let them spend five trillion naira or even uh, <laughs> beats beat only. That's their own cup of tea. My own is the answer to, they will answer before God someday. They have cheated us already by coming in as a president, by reading this election and becoming the president. They have cheated us. That is why I said they will all answer before God someday. The painful part of this thing is that we take, we take them for fools, but they are very smart. They are very smart. They divided us ethnic clans so, uh, uh, so that they and their children, their wives and in-laws, can continuously rule us. That is what they are doing. I will say it again. I will say it all over again. I will keep saying it. That they will answer a God will judge them on the, on, the, on the last day. That's my own. They will answer before God someday. So, viewers, listeners, subscribers, what is your take on this? What would you have to say concerning what I've just been read? To you, your comment concerning this news will be very much appreciated. Please, please don't hesitate. So drop them below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive notifications each time you upload.